back to Grassroots Media. Welcome back to this week's edition of the Gary's Paint Body Shop Sean Jones Show, where we cover everything on Rebel Hill with the South Green Rebels football team. As always, I'm joined here with head coach Sean Jones. Coach, how you doing this evening? Doing good. Doing good. Glad to be here this week. Glad to be here too. Glad to be able to sit down with you this yeah, week. That's, that's, uh, you know, that's a big deal after everything last week. Didn't know how long it'd be before we could do this. You know, just sitting here thinking, this is kind of crazy. You know, uh, in my coaching career, we've had two major things happen since 2020. We had the big COVID we had to try to deal with. and. Uh, now and in East Tennessee, we've got this stuff we're trying to deal with. So, so it's just it's just been crazy the last few years. But hey, that's one thing about uh, communities and, y- and your kids. They're you know they're resilient. You know we're gonna try to, and we'll get through it some way somehow. And uh, uh, you know, uh, you know I'm sure people wonder why why you practice and, and, and playing football. And I'll start out that you know to me it was just to get the kids' minds off stuff when they said we could do this stuff. It wasn't about football at all. You know I was you know when they come in last Saturday and our superintendent said we weren't gonna do anything. Hey, that's fine. You know, that's probably the best. And then they sent it out Monday that we could get going. And, and you know, my whole thing was, you know, it's for these kids. And that's what it's all about. You know, uh, you know, I, I teach the Great Depression. I was telling them, you know, people went to movies for a couple of hours, get their mind off stuff. And that's what I was hoping football is. And I think it's what it is here in East Tennessee this week. And uh, so we're just just happy to go play, get your minds off of it, win, lose, or draw. Now we're going down there to win. Uh, but As win, always. Lose, yeah, but win, lose, or draw, we're just happy to get these boys' mind off of stuff for a few, a few hours. That's one thing I wanted to touch on first is before we even get to go into football, with this interview being, of course, based around the southern side of the county in South Green, I wanted to talk about the community and how everybody has rallied around everybody because, unfortunately, the southern side of the county was hit the hardest. Uh, Some teachers, staff, coaches, students were, of course, affected by the flooding and everything like that. Your team was affected by it. The game against West Green has been pushed back. We'll talk about that later, too. But... The south side of the community is always one of my favorites in the county just because you all are so close-knit with each other. And I think this flooding and the weather has really brought that back to prominence too because you can really see how close each other are, how each other lends a helping hand. How proud are you of the South Green community how everybody's banded together through well, this? I mean, just really proud of just being a Green County. You know, that, you know that's more than just South Green uh, this time around, just like it was in 2011 with the tornadoes and – uh, you know, even COVID, you know, people banded together. But, you know, it's just proud to be a Green County. And I mean, uh, we've had, you know, help all over uh, the West Green, North Green, you know, communities, Chucky Doak, and, you know, and Chucky Doak's hit hard too where they're stuck over there. So uh, it's just it's just, been, it's just been cool to see, you know, everybody reaching out, trying to help out. And, you know, uh, we're going to see more this week. I've had a bunch of stuff sent up. I'll talk about that in a minute. And had a buddy come last night, a coaching buddy that – Coach, yeah, he's a he was a football coach two years ago. He's a wrestling coach over in Irwin. Made him camping down in Pigeon Forge a few years ago. He came over last night. I gave him some water to take back to his neighborhood. You know, he's over in Weaverville and uh, uh, a lot, lot of lot of stuff over there. And he was just all appreciative. And that's just what we do. You know, again, we're in the volunteer state. Uh, that's what people's been doing. And the boys have been out this week. You know, volunteering. We didn't. We haven't done a workout this week. And I told them. I mean, ain't no need to because they're out been working. So. Uh, so, you know, so we've been doing that and the boys, just proud of everybody, uh, just being in, you know, being from this county uh, is a big deal and uh, especially the South Green community is banded together and uh, helping people out and, uh, you know, we, you know, we were lucky for the kids uh, and my coaching staff, uh, you know, I think we had some power out, but no, nothing really lost, you know, but, you know, we got Coach Greg, our volleyball and basketball coach here. Uh, it's kind of it's kind of crazy. Last Friday when we thought we was playing on Saturday, I went by his house to get a piece from her camera that we share a camera. Uh, and Tally was all upset, said she packed her bag, and I said, "Yeah, you don't need to go nowhere. It's gonna be fine." Because you, I mean, in Green County, you never expected to what happened mm-hmm. happen at ten o'clock. You know, the, the Coach Greg said to get out, and his house is totally underwater. So it's just it was just it's just shocking, you know. Because when I left here Friday, sun shining, winds blowing a little bit. Uh, we decided to play on Saturday, and we thought, well, tomorrow will be a beautiful day to play. And then, boom, within within three hours, you know, and again, sun shining. And then here comes all the water, and it, it just got crazy Friday night. And, uh, uh, you know, just, just amazing, you know, what, what Green County's went through. But, hey, uh, sh- shout out to everybody. You know, the people has got the water back on. You know, I've got it in the city uh, today. Uh, I'm sure everybody else will get it. You know, it's just – and we take stuff like that for granted. We do. You know, we really do here in Green County because over the years I've seen people boil water, and I'm thinking, well, yeah, it probably never happened here in Green County. Uh, but it did, you know, and uh, so so we're just just proud to be a Green County, and that's what we're pretty much going to do. And I know all county schools look like they're playing tomorrow night, and, and I hope we all represent Green County well tomorrow night. 
Absolutely. I want to go into football a little bit and talk about just the state of South Green football too because it's an unusual week to say the least. I'm not sure if you've been able to practice here at your home facilities. I know a few teams have had to travel far distances out of county to be able to practice this week in order to play on Friday nights because unless you have the water supply here at your home location, you have to go to another spot. Uh, the schedule's been switched around a little bit. I know the West Green game that was supposed to be played last Friday night moved to the 25th now, which was originally scheduled with Granger. Ranger. So... Talk about just the state of South Green football, the schedule change, and everything that's went on since Friday night. Well, you know, we, we got out here Tuesday and had the probably best practice we've had all year. It really was. You know, we had a great practice uh, uh, and, and everything. You know, we've been practicing at night just for the fact all these guys have been working. Yeah. And uh, I had a parent ask me today, she said, you know, why did other plays, other uh, schools went somewhere where I didn't you? I said, I could have went anywhere. Uh, North Green offered, which was great. I know I could have called and went to Gatlinburg, Pittman, or Northview. But my whole thing was, you know, I knew these guys were working during the day, so we went practicing at the uh, same night. We went from about 6.30 to 7, excuse me, about 5.30 to 7, 7.30 this week. And that just gave kids time to do what they needed to do. And then I had plenty of water for them. Uh, so, so, I mean, we, we were all right here uh, being at South Green. So, so, I mean, it's been a great, you know, get back. And the, all the kids were here. Like I say, I had a couple uh, out, actually, from other things, sickness and different stuff. But so, uh, so we was lucky to get back. So, the schedule was a little different. You know, I, I'm just going to say it, you know, uh, we, we kind of been disappointed as coaches in East Tennessee, Tito uh just for the fact of, you know, we, you know, we call down there and, and they tell us, you know, in basketball and baseball and softball and any other sport, you know, you, you, you get rid of non-conference games to play conference. But Tito Slay says, you can't do that because you've got a contract. So we're like, what do we do? They said, well, play your conference game on Friday, all right, then you play at non-conference on Monday. And if you need to, play your JV and take the loss. We're like, what? So if we was decided to do that, which we're hoping we don't have to, we would play Eagleton on Friday, Granger on Monday, and then turn around and play West Green on Friday. And okay. so, uh, so, you know, I've, I've been talking to Granger, and, uh, you know, I, I just don't – it ain't fair to the kids. I mean, we'll play if Granger wants to play and they force us to play on Monday, we'll play. And, you know, and, and my kids will play. You know, they'll say, no, we ain't going to play, JV, we're going to play. But it just ain't fair, you know, to play that close uh, game. So we'll see what's going to happen there with Granger. But, uh, but other than that Granger game, it really would be the only one we miss. Uh, so, so, you know, I, I'm not worried about that. And I, I'm good friends with Granger, so we're just still got that, that game in limbo. Uh, but, but, again, you know, just – you know, Georgia, we find out Monday, Georgia come out Monday and said, hey, we're just going to extend the season a week, make up games. Smart. I know it's just East Tennessee, but Tito is ain't going to do stuff like that. Yeah. I mean, they're just not. You know, uh, for whatever reason, it's probably about money. they got their state championship set down down in Chattanooga. But uh, it, that part's just been disappointing that, that you know, they, they even reached out, I don't think, to a lot of the schools, you know, and asked how you're doing and, uh, and, and stuff. So, so that just kind of puts a little sour taste in the mouth. But, hey, we're going to go play. Uh, you know, we're going to go down and see more tomorrow night. Uh, we'll go to, and it looks like we're going to get to go to Happy Valley next week, early in the week. I didn't know if that was going to happen. Talk to Coach uh, uh, Jarrett last night, and they're back to practice, and then we get to play this week away. So if they get everything situated, and they've got water and power, so I really believe we'll go up there next week and, uh, and everything. So, so it looks like we probably, hopefully, starting this week, you know, getting back to normal a little bit. Hopefully, feel a sense of normalcy on Friday night when you do travel down there to see more. We'll talk about that in just a minute, though, and preview that matchup. But we got to get a word from our sponsors first. So we'll be right back in just a minute to talk about that game here on Grassroots Media. At Corner Pond, the friendly and knowledgeable staff has the experience necessary to help you out regardless of the need. Have an item of value you'd like to pawn or sell? Corner Pond can help. They pawn numerous items of value, including firearms, tools, ammunition, silver, coins, and much more. When you walk through their doors, you'll find well-stocked shelves full of electronics, gaming systems, fishing and hunting equipment, car audio and accessories. And don't forget about the room full of guitars and basses and amplifiers, or their outside lawn and garden equipment. Corner Pond is a case knife dealer and carries numerous used knives as well. Stop by and let the friendly staff at Corner Pond help you today at 432 East Bernard Avenue, Greenville, Tennessee. For more than 30 years, Tommy's Plumbing has served customers in East Tennessee with licensed and professional plumbing services. From installing your new faucet to replacing your existing piping system, our team at Tommy's Plumbing is trained to handle the job with professionalism, attention to detail, and integrity. By offering warranties on most products installed by our technicians, Tommy's Plumbing stands behind our work, ensuring that your plumbing needs are not only met, but that your problem is solved for the long term. When you need reliable and professional plumbing service, Tommy's is the only call to make. 
So give us a call today and let us show you the Tommy's difference. Welcome back to Grassroots Media. Welcome back to this week's edition of the Gary's Paint and Body Shop Sean Jones Show, where we cover everything on Rebel Hill with the South Green Rebels football team. As always, I'm joined here with head coach Sean Jones. So, you got Seymour this week traveling on the road. Last time you went up there, had a very fun game. I was a part of that one. Yeah, you pulled out a trick that, play yeah. in that game. That was towards the end of that season two years ago, where you started out slow and picked it up and had a very good end of the season. Looking to still carry over that momentum that you've had earlier on in the season. Won three straight up to this point now. Looking to make it four as you go in to see more. What do you expect when you take the field on Friday night? Well, it's kind of crazy. We're expecting a desperate team. You know, we, I told the boys last night, they're 0 for the last 21. Okay. Uh, and, you know, but, and I'm going to say Seymour's been great. You know, they brought a truckload of stuff up here Monday night. Uh, they're going to let our fans in free tomorrow night. You know, That's they're awesome. taking up money for the football team. They're going to feed us. Uh, I got a call today. They're going to give the coaches' wives bags. And, and I, I told the boys, so, you know, the thing about coaches, you know, they come up Monday night. I said, Coach, just butter me up to beat me. Well, we don't say anything. <laughs> well, most coaches will say, oh, well, you got a good team. So I was like, well, it's kind of interesting. And uh, he's already called Northeast coach. And, uh, you know, pretty much thinks he can beat us because, you know, we're 2 team, and he knows he ain't got no other, t no other opportunities the rest of the year. So we're got, coming into a desperate team, we feel like. Uh, so I've told the boys, you know, they're going to be ready to play. Now, with that being said, uh, they've got a good team, but we feel like, you know, we, we've got a good team also. You know, we feel like we can go down there and run the football on them. Uh, and uh, the way, you know, way, the way they do stuff, we feel like we can run the football and even throw it. Uh, so, so we're excited. I got the boys excited. Uh, defensively, they're going to come out in a 4-2-5. Uh, you know, we feel like we take advantage. And then offensively, you know, they got a good quarterback. Quarterback uh, transferred to Beard and he's back. Uh, I think he's a senior. They got a big stud running back. It's a big kid. So, so it's going to be a challenge, but a challenge we'll take. You know, we're, you know, I don't think they know, you know, how, what's coming as far as how physical we can be. And I think we can bring that tomorrow night. So, so you know, the, and I told the boys, guys, you don't want to be the team that breaks the, the losing record. So, mm -hmm. I, you know, they're 0 for 21. Uh, going back to that three years ago when we played them. Uh, played them down there. I think they had gotten beat three games before that. So uh, and then they lose every game last year, uh, and then I lose everything this year. So so it's uh, uh, so it's going to be interesting to go down there and, and see what happens. But a, a challenge we're going to take. And they've been fun games historically. I know two years ago you had that game up there at Seymour where you pulled out that trick play and pulled away late. Uh, three years ago when they came here, you had a very competitive game where I think you jumped out to a big lead at halftime. Oh, yeah. Was, and then all of a sudden you go in the fourth quarter and they're right on your heels. Yeah. So they've been fun games. You know, that was the night we talked about taking Luke and all those guys out when we are going to do it in the second half. And I'll be dang if we don't get an interception on the goal line to end the game. Uh, to beat them, so uh, we just, you know, we, we kind of got off the gas, and that's another thing, we beat them three years in a row, you know, mm -hmm. they're a bigger school, so, uh, so again, uh, going down there, but, you know, again, we really appreciate of what uh, Seymour's done for us and going to do for us, uh, but, you know, I, you know I've, I've told, you know, told our athletic director today, I said, you know what, that's great, and they're going to help them out, but we just want to go play football, yeah. you know, we just want to go play football, and, and hopefully, you know, we can take all the stuff they're giving us and come away with a win. That might be the, it'll be even more sweeter if we do that, you know, uh, take all their stuff and then and beat them on their home field. It brings a sense of healing to a community, too. I know Coach Tilson this week talked about how after Hurricane Katrina, everybody remembers that first game back in the Superdome when New Orleans was able to win that Monday night football game. And it just brings a sense of healing to a community when you're able to just kind of forget about everything for three hours and then just go watch a football game or pay attention to a football game. And I'm hoping that's what happens on Friday night. But to be able to pick up that win, as always, you got the Three keys to the game that you need to carry out. What are they this week? Well, we got to stop their big running back on offense and their, and their quarterback. I'm going to put that area together. Uh, we got to play well, sound defensively, and we've got to win a turnover battle. And when we do that, we'll be fine. Absolutely. That's how you win a football game. That's it. That's it. Offense, defense, special teams. That's it. Special teams. We've done well in all three phases this year, so That's hopefully true. we can do that. So. All right, Coach. That's all I've got for you this week. Have a great rest all of right, practice thanks. before you kick off tomorrow night. Thank you all for watching this week's edition of the Gary's Paint and Body Shop Sean Jones Show. Look forward to seeing you all next time here on Grassroots Media.